G'day guys, Dave here from Old Rigs Down Under. Hope you enjoy this video. The old galleon grader here. Just trying to clean up a track here on a farm, not far from home, my brother's grader. Taking a bit off the edge and spreading it out until he can drive over the top of it. So we'll just put all these windrows here with the with a couple of uh, rigid trucks. If you look down there, there's an excavator, and he's actually dug a dam out there. You see the topsoil sitting there; it'll be used later on. But he's just dug a bit of a hole, and we carted all the dirt. into these windrows. So he'll just do a pass down that side and he'll probably come back along the other side. The old galleon, we have, have done a cold start video on it before. It's an old Cummins, a pretty early one. Not sure if it's an H-series or not, but it's uh, from memory around the 630 cubes or something like that. It's a little bit smaller than the one in my tractor, so it's smaller than 743. But um, still in that same early style, but it's just naturally aspirated. It hasn't got the uh, supercharger or turbocharger on it. You can see this place here, or I don't know if you can in the video, but it's pretty low, it's pretty wet. Um, a lot of gill guys. You know, sort of little banks and hollows and, and what's happened over the years is this track has just been scalloped out and it ended up just being a bit of a almost like a bit of a creek itself the water just sat in there and so we're just um, building all of this up and then over time we'll just work away at this paddock and try and smooth it off it's never really been sown before um, he's not long bought the property and just wants to make the most of it. Um, but yeah, there's a couple of couple of sheds down there and a couple of silos. So we just wanted a bit better access. And so yeah, we'll just lift this road up for him a little bit. And my brother's doing the job. I'm just helping him today. Helping or annoying, maybe both. But yeah, in, in a wet year, this is absolutely hopeless through this paddock here so at least this will give it some good access and um, yeah hopefully with a little bit of gravel on top of it we'll make it somewhat all weather see that blade hanging out the right hand side like that. We see him coming back for the second pass on the other side. About where he's, uh, where the outside wheels are, that's about where we want the material to come to. He's just put a bit of a 
line in the road there where he wants to fill out to. So we'll just keep doing this with the with the blade, just um, scraping away at the edge of the pile until it fills out. coming back up here for the uh, second pass on this side so he's just like I said earlier just putting that blade a little bit further in and um, bringing out a little bit more dirt and obviously he's got the, got the blade angled back a little bit so it's bringing the dirt to the outside of the job so we'll just keep doing that sorry about this camera work I'm just on the phone today so it may not be quite as good but uh, anyway still get a little bit of a decent picture not a huge machine obviously it's got a bit of age about it but yeah if you just do a little bit at a time it, it does a pretty good job if you try and take on too much with it you'll just maybe dig holes and spin wheels and yeah so if you work to its capacity and just chip away it'll do a pretty nice job of this over time Tommy does a pass down the other side. The third pass on this side should almost be able to flatten the crown of it out. And then obviously it'll be a little bit easier to work with again.
Sacrifice a couple of acres to turn it around in. He's not the most manoeuvrable, but yeah, really good in a straight line. Yeah, good looking old machine. See on this third pass down the other side, he's um, taken the middle of that windrow down, so should go to drive pretty easily on the rest of it now. 
A couple of spots here will be a touch high for it, but it'll still get over it okay. So at a guess there might have been close to oh, somewhere between seven and eight hundred tonne of dirt here, maybe a little bit more. So there was about a hundred truckloads, and they weren't full truckloads, but uh, there's a bit of bit of weight in it all, there's a bit of moisture in it, you can see some of these clods here. Um, they're sort of solid enough, but under a wheel they'll break up. You sort of see that material there is fairly soft. So yeah, there's a bit of weight in it all. So <clears throat> in three passes either way on this track, yeah, he's um, made it pretty manageable, and yeah, knocked down seven or eight hundred ton. So he'll just um, he'll just keep working it in now and and um, smoothing it off, and you might just let it let it air out for a day or two as well, and come back. And obviously once it's rolled and packed, we'll put some decent gravel on it. But like I say, it does get very low through here. The, the track before was the lower section of the of the paddock. So it just held water and you just couldn't drive down here. It was full of bog tracks everywhere. So this will this will go a long way to improving that. At some point down here, there'll be a pipe going in. Probably, probably just a little bit further down there. Just from that area you can see about, about there. Might do a pipe there. It's a fairly low spot because there is a bit of a rise on that side and we don't want the water to bank up on the other side of it so we'll just run that with the grader as well or well, he will I won't um, but yeah when you've got the right machinery uh, it can make the job fairly easy you'd be a fair while doing that with a tractor and front and loader or a um, I mean a dozer would get the job done if, with an angle blade but uh, yeah like rather than climbing right over the top of the pile he's done a really good job there of just taking a couple of goes at the edge of it and yeah now it's completely workable and he can do whatever he likes with it a um, little bit of a different video this one guys hope you enjoyed it and yeah there'll, there'll be a, a couple of a couple more of this sort of thing a couple of photos but uh, yeah well I better get back and do some real work around the um, Around the trucks at home i think but yeah thanks for watching um please like and subscribe um tell your mates about the channel really want to try and grow it this year spend a, a bit more time editing the videos uh just so it's a little bit easier to watch for you all right thanks again guys we'll see you next time